goodness. It's a Monday. Usually I'm in bed all day Monday. Um, I just had my carer here. So that always kind of, well, it quite literally forces me out of bed because uh, she helps me change the bed. So I've just been thinking about that safe space pattern and what I want to do and thinking about the minis up there and how I want to like color management it. And I found these two yarns in the shop that I really like. This is the Exquisite by Structure Spinner's Exquisite 4 Ply, which has got silk in it. It's very soft. And this is the Shuffle crazies chopping with blah 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 zabra ball crazy very shaky camera work on a monday zabra ball crazy and i've been thinking about how i want to do it do i want to do one hexagon of plain black and then one hexagon of plain mini and then i could alternate that seems pretty standard i kind of don't want to do that as well as this is a double knit pattern so the yarn that i'm working with is four ply which is like obviously moral me is what it's yell telling me moral me <laughs> moral me it's like yelling at me so the other idea that i had was that we would have one hex of pure like plain mini skein and then one hex of mini and black and then i could swap like mini and black together and then the next so the next mini and black together and then the next mini and then blah blah blah, blah. Um, and that would have a sort of elongated effect um, and then I was thinking I'm trying to remember what one of my other thoughts was but basically I think what I've decided that I'm gonna do is use a dark color for the base of the blanket and do like a hex of pure black and then a hex of mini one plus black then a hex of mini one by itself, then a hex of mini one plus black, and then a hex of black, and then a hex of mini two and black, and continue. I think that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Oh, the other thing I was thinking was I could just, instead of having a, a black at all, I could just go mini one, mini one and two, mini two, mini two and three, mini three mini you know like my uh advent socks were for the for last year so yeah but I'm, I'm also really in love with these a lot and a part of me was like do I want to have the same color throughout the entire blanket or I and mean, I don't know if it's going to be a blanket or a shawl it'll probably end up being a shawl um just because I know me and the length of project <laughs> And I know that, like, I've already got other blankets on the go. So, yeah, the upside to using some of these is that I can definitely say that this is a shop sample. Wink. And, and that makes me feel better about starting a new project. Because <laughs> if it's a shop sample, then it's work. And it's not just me starting a random project just because I want to start a random project. Um, and considering that we're going to be selling some of the patterns in the shop, I just think it would be nice to have you know people will look at it and be like oh how did you do that and then I can be like well it's an indie dyed mini skein with you know West Georgia spinners whatever and then they can choose some of our indie dyed stuff that we have unfortunately we don't have any uh chromatic yarns in the shop uh because Hannah's just so busy <laughs> and always sells out her shop updates um so so yeah but I can say you know this you can buy this and you can buy me indie dyed mini skeins because people when they see a sample they want to be able to to use the same yarn um or at least come away with something so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm a little nervous to start it because as I said I kind of wanted to see all of the colors first and then rearrange them but I'm going to try and not over complicate this and just go with it and like leave that perfectionism behind and this is supposed to be just like fun and adventy and a memory thing. So I'm gonna go with that. What do you think, Carl? You've been sat here listening to the whole thing. Sounds good. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> the long suffering Instagram slash podcast boyfriend. Bless you. Hello there. <laughs> it was funny yesterday. Um, I was sitting at my desk doing some Instagram stuff and I started talking to Carl 
and like two minutes later he was like what are you talking to me i thought you were vlogging <laughs> oh dear right i'm gonna go wind some minis Hello. Also, I know what I should be doing right now is finishing winding the cakes for the would-be advent calendar. Um, but, but I'm not I'm feeling a little disappointed in myself for not being able to get it done in time. And also a little, like, laughing at myself or thinking I could get it done in time. Um, so I'm trying to give myself a break on that. And... I will either make it into an advent for next year or I will just make it into yarn and or mini sets or something like that. So I think that's where I'm going to have to go with that. A little disappointed, but um, also you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Why is this yellow ball here? This yellow ball doesn't belong here. And this orange one is in the wrong place too. Oh no, they're all going to fall. I'm going to need two hands for this. part of my life but um just had a very very rude message from some of the government benefits people basically making something out to be like super urgent and like with really threatening tones and like all kinds of stuff when really I had like three more weeks to to like do the thing and it's like chill um which got me super stressed and then I just looked into something else and then that also got me super stressed. Um, basically they just make it so difficult, so difficult and benefits system in the UK is absolute crap. Um, and it exhausts me and as soon as I can get off benefits, I'm going to do it like but also I wish the government understood that if you're disabled that's not always an option and I mean I have been working my ass off for seven years trying to make the business work and I still don't make enough we still don't take enough takings earnings income to support myself um, from the shop alone and that is purely because I physically can only work three days a week and it's just it's just messed up. All the hoops they make you jump through. The tone, the accusatory tone that they always talk to you in. Um, anyway, uh, just thought, seeing as you're coming with me on Vlogmas every day and you're, you know, seeing the nice things, I just thought I would also let you in on some of the not nice things. Uh, good news. My parents' plane did land. They were traveling from South Africa, which for any of you who are paying attention to the news in the UK at the moment. Um, South Africa is on the red list because of this new variant of coronavirus and they weren't even sure if they were gonna be able to make it home at all. Um, but their plane did land in London, a Heathrow, and now they're having to stay at an expensive quarantine hotel for however many days. Obviously, better safe than sorry. Completely agree with that decision, but yeah. It's, yeah, so they're here in the country, but I won't be able to see them for another 
is it 10 days 18 days i can't remember i think it's 10 days i think they're home on the 18th which is where i got that number from anyway um it's just always nice when you've got a family or a loved one uh traveling across the world it's always nice to know that they uh didn't you know that they got there safely so that was nice i got a text from dad just now which is really good it took them like four hours to go from the plane landing to getting on a bus to the hotel which seems bananas but um i'm sure that they're doing all kinds of checks and stuff at the border and all kinds of stuff um because of these crazy crazy times but and and we wouldn't be traveling at all if it wasn't for the fact that my grandma is living alone in south africa and um she it was time that they went over and saw her and helped her sort some stuff out so yeah crazy crazy times i also have made some progress on my stay safe no space safe space uh blankety thing i think i might end up turning it into a big shawl to be honest i don't know not sure but it the hexes are a lot bigger than i thought they'd be i don't know why i thought they would be smaller but i'm enjoying it i'm not sure if my fading thing is gonna work with these minis i think there's about 20 grams in here does anyone else put their finger in mini cakes like this it's quite fun um because i wanted to do like a marled one and then have a thing and another marled one but i don't know if that's actually gonna be feasible to do but we're, we're trying it we're seeing it and i'm getting into i'm getting into a rhythm with it i've got my little dice here my d4 which you would have seen i think i took a video of it a little d4 that i keep turning to keep track of my rows because it's basically a four row repeat um basically it's a little more complicated than that but um yeah i'm really enjoying it and i'm actually really looking forward to getting on to the next uh like row and attaching it as I go and stuff. I think I'm gonna have, do a couple of hexes, pop it on some waist and then start the next um, column. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, Carl and I just had soup and grilled cheese for dinner. Um, and I haven't really eaten anything else all day. So Carl's making us another grilled cheese. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, half 11 or something. We've been watching Critical Role Campaign 3. Uh, which has been nice. It's nice getting to know some new characters. I'm so exhausted. My whole body feels exhausted after the benefits drama. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the loo, have a grilled cheese, do a bit more knitting. Hopefully I will recover and my body won't just like have a flare up. <laughs> um, because CFS Emmy is weird like that <laughs> but um yeah i hope you guys wherever you are have had a good monday um that noise you can hear in the background is probably carl making himself some strawberry milk i hope you guys have had a good day and i will see you in the next video